Uh, my name is David Hartso. I'm a uh, Quaker and I had the good fortune of meeting Martin, Martin Luther King when I was 15 years old and uh, have been uh, involved in uh, building nonviolent movements, uh, working for peace and justice in different uh, parts of the world ever since. Uh, I was a co-founder of the Nonviolent Peace Force and uh, am one of the initiators of the World Beyond War. And I'm the author of a new book just hot off the press called uh, Waging Peace, Global Adventures of a Lifelong Activist, where I share those stories of uh, active involvement in peacemaking and, and active nonviolence around the world, hopefully with, uh, uh, with the result of people that read this feeling inspired uh, that they can do something uh, to help create the, a more peaceful and just world. I hope, I think, is a necessary ingredient for us to make change. And there's a lot of reason for hope, which uh, people read in, in this book. <laughs>it's always <laughs> the time, <laughs> an idea whose time has come. But I think now more than ever, uh, it's so obvious that wars are not working. They're not resolving conflicts. Uh, they're, uh, they're just getting a lot of people killed. And so the seeds of future wars. And there are uh, available alternatives uh, alternative ways to achieve real security, uh, not a false security, <laughs> which we get uh, through weapons. And all we have to do is make that decision to, uh, to implement those alternatives. Uh, there's, it's also squandering $2 trillion a year uh, from, that are badly needed for human and environmental needs. Uh, and developing a new generation of nuclear weapons, military bases around the world, weapons, <laughs> you know, selling weapons all over the world. Um, so, you know, financially, uh, we're, built, we're digging our own grave uh, through <laughs> spending half of our federal budget on wars and preparations for wars. So it's in, our, it's in all the people's interest uh, to make the shift from uh, our addiction to war and violence and militarism as a way of resolving conflict to uh, shifting to mediation and negotiation and resolving conflicts at the negotiation table, not on the battlefield.